you are traveling through another dimension, a dimension not only of sight and sound, but of mind. Step into a world where normal rules no longer apply. In this dimension of imagination, stories unfold that challenge your perception of reality to be transported to the depths of human consciousness and explore the boundaries of the human experience. I'm your guide, Trinity Red or Blue Pill. I hope I'm with the frog here. Come with me and you'll see a world. What you doing? What you see? What? Lucy? Uh-uh, who are you saying hi to? Who are you saying hi to? Dude, you need to stop that. You're freaking me out. Come on. Step into the shadows where darkness conceals unseen mysteries. In the realm of the invisible, a mysterious force emerges. Unseen by the naked eye, and this eerie spectrum of electromagnetic radiation holds secrets. But when harnessed by cutting edge technology, infrared unveils a ghostly world where the ordinary is transformed into the extraordinary. So first, please hit the subscribe if you haven't and notification bell. And today's video is dedicated to Big Hair Tsunami. And for all of you who subscribe to me and support me financially through PayPal, Venmo, and Cash App. So now, if you're ready for a deep dive, let's go. So in Vietnam, they would use this technology. This technology of these goggles was introduced. And there are stories of people discussing about what happened when they put these on and the things that they saw. Well, in one recollection of a story, a soldier, a gunner in the helicopter had these on and he, is, he just became sweating profusely. His eyes were dilated and he began shooting, but he wasn't shooting at things on the ground. He was shooting at things in front of him or across the way. And that was in the area of other helicopters. So you can only imagine the chaos that, that that started. We're head of the military. We're told not to wear these. But the people who were like gunners in the helicopters, the soldiers, they wore these. And when they wore these, even on the ground with the fog or the trees, they were seeing things that they discussed was coming from not just their consciousness, but from other, what they were calling dimensions and that these monsters or these creatures or demons, aliens, even Bigfoot would look directly at them. They'd have eye contact and it would feel like they could read each other's minds on top of it all. So that was insane. And they would start shooting again at these and they'd be flying up in the air. They'd be in front of them. Can you imagine now? With all of the heroin use, they began believing it was just because of that. But that had been going on for a long time, and they didn't see that or experience that until this technology was used. And the way that the photons and electrons can be seen with the red filters or green filters is very um, interesting. And people use these today to see like UFOs or UIPs but they're not the same as what they had then because they had an extra filter, it was also yellow and had heat signatures. So if you're thinking predator like me, yes, kind of like that. So can you imagine how terrifying that could be? In fact, predator was actually made because of what these people were discussing when they put on this technology, these goggles, that not only could see infrared, the green spectrum, the yellow spectrum, the red spectrum, but also heat signatures. The exposure that these goggles 
that they would put on had such unsettling effects that for weeks afterwards, and even the gunners for months, were unable to, you know, remove themselves from this experience. And whether to believe what they saw was real or not real affected them so much. And they're believing that these came from the images from radiation. And that means the energies letting loose in Vietnam at that time. So were they manifestations? Or what would they know, what they were looking at? And doing these very interesting biological experiments. What it was like for them using this advanced technology, these goggles that are different than what we use today in Vietnam. I can't imagine what they saw or what it was like. Thank you for watching till the end. I've been wanting to get a video out sooner than now. So thank you for understanding. And I hope that you enjoyed this video. What do you think about how they saw what they saw with use of that technology of those goggles in Vietnam? And have you ever felt like you're in a situation where there could be like a predator or something watching you? Well, please comment below. I'd love to know your thoughts on infrared spectrum and how we see everything around us. Trinity, red or blue pill, ha, Hulk, Kermit the Frog here. Come with me.